snack before the show. Ooh, ooh, I've been working on my trail mix using my trail mixing skills. Want to try one of my creations? I made some for the preschool kids at Vacation Bible School, and they loved it. Sure, I mean, if a toddler loves it, I probably will too. Okay, okay, close your eyes, don't look. Try this one. What is it? Cheetos. Good, right? Cheeto trail mix? Equals perfection. Three, two, one. I'm Jay. And I'm Emma. Welcome to Press Play. Jay and I thought we'd play a little game today called What You Gonna Drink With That? Feel free to play along, friends. Jay, I'm gonna give you a food item and you'll tell me the perfect thing to drink with it. For instance, if I give you a chocolate chip cookie, what you gonna drink with that? Pickle juice, obviously. No, no milk. Milk goes with chocolate chip cookies. Pickle juice. Mm. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Okay, you ready? Yes. Okay, oatmeal. What you gonna drink with that? Uh, barbecue sauce. Yeah, Gross, but <clears throat> okay. Um, here's another one. Hamburger, what you gonna drink with that? Mmm, Pepto-Bismol, mmm. Okay, <laughs> this game made me hungry. Oh, yeah. Maybe the press play button will take us somewhere good to eat. You think of what I'm thinking? Let's do it. Three, Three two, two, one, press, press play. play. Whoa! Whoa, where are we? I don't know, but it doesn't seem like anything's really ready to eat. No. <laughs> Wait, uh, look, there's a chef right over there. Sh chef. Oh, bonjour, I did not know you sneak up on me like that. Uh, my name is Jungle Chef. That's first name Jungle and last name uh, Chef. Oh, and <laughs> what's your middle name? Uh, Bruce. Is that uh, right? I am Jungle Chef. I specialize in jungle dishes and delicacies. Everything and anything straight from the jungle to you. Oh, oh. Wow. Thanks, Jungle Chef. Mm. I would love a delicious and nutritious snack. Maybe some fruit and nuts. Pardon moi? <laughs> A very common mistake. <laughs> when approaching Jungle Chef, one does not tell me what they need, okay? I tell them what they need and then prepare the very thing I knew they needed. And for you both, I am sensing uh, what you need is a delicious, uh, nutritious snack made of uh, possibly fruits and nuts. Hmm? That's what I said. Jungle Chef did not hear you. He simply sensed what you are needing. Reminds me of a Bible story from the book of Exodus, chapter 15 and 16, and I shall share it with you as I whip up your jungle treats. Mm. <laughs> the Israelites had just seen how God provided for them by parting the Red Sea and allowing them to walk through on dry ground. After only three days of traveling through the desert, the Israelites started to get thirsty and began to worry. Not ready yet? I think you, I agree. Okay. <clears throat> I know I didn't make this clear up top, but please do not talk during my process, okay? None of this will be with Jibba Jabba, as Jungle Chef whips up your jungle snack and tells you a Bible story. Sorry. <clears throat> anyway, can you pass me the uh, other one? Other one? Other one? Other one? Perfect, thank you. Uh, Exodus 15 24 says So the people grumbled against Moses, saying, What are we to drink? They just seen God part the Red Sea. No, thank Taste? you. No, okay, that's okay. And now they were grumbling, like a diner who doesn't like their eggs poached. Oh, <laughs> hold on, Jungle Chef. Take it easy on the Israelites, okay? They've been in slavery for 400 years. And yuck, I only like my eggs scrambled, not poached. Did you not hear when I berated her for speaking during my, my mixing and, and mastery? I'll be quiet. I'll be quiet, Jungle Chef. <laughs> A poached egg is the only way to prepare an egg, obviously. You can't just have eggs anyway. Okay, okay? if you had eggs anyway, it's madness. And uh, I do not like madness. So they were unsure if God would lead them to what they needed, but God did. He told Moses to throw a stick into some dirty water and voila, it was fit to drink. 
God let them do what they needed. But soon, they began to worry again. This time about not having anything to eat. Speaking of which, I have finished your delicious and nutritious jungle snack made for you by Jungle Chef. Enjoy. I have. <laughs> um. Oh. Would you like? Yeah. Uh. I also have this. If it is too high class for you, you can have uh, something more uh, oh. simple. Thank you, Jungle Chef. Thank oh, you. Oh, it's so wet. <laughs> yes, because my pockets are very moist. Can we talk now for a second? What do you want to talk about? Do you, do you want to tell me how wonderful I am, or how good of a chef am I, or how um, eggs are good with the shell in them? Anyway, I want to share with you the rest of this Bible story. So God heard the Israelites and again gave them what they needed. God said to them in Exodus 16:12, at twilight you will eat meat, and in the morning you will be filled with bread, then you will know that I am the Lord, your God. And that is what happened. <laughs> In the evenings, quail, a bird that is a specialty of jungle chef, covered the ground for them to eat. And in the mornings, the dew on the ground became like a bread for them. So again, God led them to what they needed. <laughs> this food you gave us is exactly what we needed. Yeah, I know it is. So let it be a lesson for you, like it was for the Israelites. Mm. When we face situations where we are tempted to worry about how God will take care of us, we can remember God will lead us to what we need. Wow. Oh, well, would you look at that? Time for us to go, JBC. Is that cool if I call you that? No. But I will perform with you now the press play handshake. Perfect. We pressed play and ended up back in the jungle again. This time we met Jungle Chef. Jungle Bruce Chef. And he made us some really good mm. food, which was just what we needed. <sighs> yeah. And he told us about the Israelites grumbling in the desert because they weren't sure God would lead them to what they needed. But God always did. God gave them water to drink and food to eat. God didn't bring them out of Egypt and through the Red Sea just to leave them alone. And when we're going through tough situations in life, we can remember the same thing. God will lead us to what we need. Now it's time to drop, drop the, the verse. verse. Psalm 25, 4. Show me your ways, Lord. Teach me your paths. 